today we are going to talk about if you have given a graph okay then if you you will draw a tangent to it and and a normal to it then what are the lengths of tangent normal subtangent and subnormal so for that first of all i, I will tell you what uh, if you draw tangent and normal then what are its what is, are its subtangent and subnormal okay so let us draw graph first of all like this okay this is your x axis this is your y let us see our graph is like that so this is fx okay so it is a tangent will be now let us also consider a point p x comma y so it tangent will be like this and its normal will be uh, at right, right angles to its tangent like this okay so now let us label this this point t and this point n and let let me draw a, a normal for, from p to here and let me call it g okay so let us call this angle theta and so this angle will be our 90 minus theta and since this normal and tangent are perpendicular to each other so this whole angle will be 90 so 90 minus 90 minus theta will be again theta angle okay so what is now i will tell you what is the length of tangent normal subtangent and subnormal the length of tangent is will be pn okay pn and since this is a tangent so the point at which the tangent touches the curve from there to to the your x axis whatever the length is that length is the length of the tangent so p okay length of tangent is p pt okay and similarly length of uh, our normal is you can clearly see this is our normal so we, we will we will calculate our length from point p to point and again on the x axis so pn will be our length of normal and up now what remains are subtangent and subnormal so whatever from point p if you will go from here to the in the perpendicularly perpendicularly to the x axis we reach point g from here to whatever the, the tangent is so you can see the tangent is slanted from p to t so whatever the length is gt is gt is your subtangent okay and again the normal is this so your subnormal will be this this is your subnormal okay now first of all let us try to calculate sub subtangent okay so we clearly see subtangent is our tg now and we also know since this point is x comma y so this distance vertical distance will be y okay this will be y so now we will just just should we will just use trigonometric ratios to find since we want to find this and we know this so we will use tan theta so tan theta will be a opposite side divided by the base which is y over tg so so tg will be our y over tan theta okay uh, equal to y over tan theta or y 1 over tan theta is is sorry okay y over tan theta and and tan theta is it is you can see it is the slope of this line it is the mm, tan theta is the dy dy over dx of this curve which is this the slope of the tangent which is dy over dx so it will be dy over dx so one we have got now what we need to do is sub normal okay our sub normal is gn okay 
gn uh, again we will use it uh, we will use the trigonometric ratio so we, we want to find this and we have this again we will use the tan theta sorry we want to find this and we know this but our, this time our angle is here so uh, tan theta will be gn gn over y okay gn over y so gn will be y tan theta equal to y tan theta again y times dy over dx so our subnormal is subnormal is y dy over dx now now i want to calculate the length of tangent so tangent is our pt okay pt now again see in, in the triangle we want to find this length pt and we know this so an angle this is this so we will use sin theta because sin theta is opposite to hypotenuse okay so sin theta is equal to opposite is y over pt y over pt so your, your pt is y over y over sin theta which is y over upon sin theta is cosec theta cosec theta equal to y now cosec theta we know the uh, basic identity cos theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta o okay equal to y it is 1 plus cot, cot square theta okay and now since our dy over dx is tan theta so again we have to convert this cos theta into tan theta so it will be 1 plus 1 over tan square theta okay so equal to y 1 plus 1 over tan square theta is equal to y tan square theta over tan square theta plus 1 now this the, the term in the denominator will get uh, it is square and square root it will, it will get cancelled out it will just remain tan theta in, in the above 1 plus tan square theta it will be now we can put the value of tan theta which is dy over dx square whole over dy over dx so this is your length of tangent ok so similarly you again you will take the triangle and you will find that the length of your, your last remaining term is the length of normal will be will, will come out to be y times 1 plus dy over dx square okay so 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 guys in this video i i, I taught you the four the four how to calculate the length of the four terms tangent normal subtangent and subnormal Okay, so now you have like this. This is the time. This is the uh, length. The formula for the length of subtangent. The formula for the length of subnormal. The formula for the length of tangent and the length of normal. So you, if you if you if you come across any question are related to that, to these you can solve easily if you should remember the formula and, and even if you don't remember the formula you can easily draw this diagram and you can calculate it by yourself okay so that's it for today's video guys bye bye i will i will see you soon and i will upload the next video bye